welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a special episode in my comfort food series. Yes, this is still comfort food, but we're making a little 360 degree turnaround because of the cool weather, fall is here, winter is coming. I'm gonna be bringing you some slow cooker recipes as part of the comfort food series. So we're gonna kick off this very first slow cooker comfort food video with a delicious, I mean delicious, pulled chicken hoisin sauce rice. Ah, oh, so good. I can't wait to share this recipe with you. This is honestly one of my favorite recipes that I've ever made in my slow cooker. It was that good and it is incredibly easy. So if you wanna see what I have in store for you for the first edition in my slow cooker version of the comfort food series, just stay tuned. For tonight's comfort food dinner, we are going to be doing a slow cooker recipe. Tis the season where the weather is changing, it's getting a little cooler, it is time for some slow cooker recipes. So you'll be seeing a lot of these coming up in the next few months. So for tonight's dinner, we are going to be making a hoisin chicken. We're gonna pair this with a veggie and over some jasmine rice. So let me show you what is in our hoisin chicken. Of course, you'll need some boneless, skinless chicken breast. I am going to cut off all the fat and stuff before it goes into the crock pot. You'll also need chicken broth, cornstarch, hoisin sauce, Soy sauce, I'm just subbing coconut aminos. A couple tablespoons of water. Ginger, you can either use fresh or dry. And then honey or agave. So I'm gonna be using this Nature's Hollow Honey Substitute. I buy this off of the Nutrition website. This honey is amazing. You can have a tablespoon for one Smart Point. It's about a quarter of the amount of Smart Points as regular honey, and it tastes just as delicious. It is made with xylitol, so make sure you keep it away from any pets. But again, you can buy this off of the Nutrition website. Same place I buy my Fiber Gourmet Pasta, my Thinables, so many fantastic WW options on that website. There is a link down in the description box. Just click the link, it'll take you directly to nutrition site. So we are gonna be using the Nature's Hollow Honey Substitute. So let's get started putting together in our crock pot our hoisin chicken. First thing we're going to do is put together our sauce for our chicken. So I have one third cup of my light soy sauce or coconut aminos, whatever it is that you're using. We also have one third cup of our hoisin sauce. I love hoisin, it's one of my favorite sauces. And honestly, I thought it was more point heavy than it is. So I was happy to know that it isn't as point heavy as I originally thought. And then we also have one third cup of chicken broth. And I'm just gonna kind of mix this as I go. We're also going to put in two tablespoons of our sugar-free honey. And then lastly, we're gonna add some ginger. And that's what's gonna give it that really authentic kind of flair of the ginger, that spiciness, yum. And the recipe wants two uh, teaspoons of ginger. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add some in and we're gonna give this a stir. And now our sauce is ready to go. So let's pull out our crock pot and get this going. So I went ahead and added a liner to my crock pot. And the next step is we are actually going to take our breasts of chicken and we are going to put them into the bottom of our crock pot. And I did trim these of all that icky fat that was on there. And these are some high quality chicken breasts. I just don't understand. Maybe it's just the way that it is, but I like to remove all of the visible fat. It just kind of keeps it a little bit more lean. So I went ahead and I added my chicken breasts and then we are simply going to pour our delicious sauce right over the top of our chicken. And we are going to cook this on high. Now you have the option to cook this on high or low, whatever your preference is. So I have everything ready. I'm gonna go ahead and cook mine on low for four hours. You can also cook it on high for one and a half hours, whatever your preference is. So I am just going to pop on my lid. Let's get this on low and I'll be back in about four hours. The hoisin chicken is done. It's been about five hours on low in the crock pot. So I'm gonna take my tongs here and I'm going to remove the chicken and just put it here on a paper plate because I want to make the sauce left here in the crock pot into a thicker poison sauce. And then we'll re-add in our chicken and shred it in with the sauce. You guys, this smells, I wish you could smell how good 
this smells. So I have my chicken here. Let me grab our cornstarch and water mixture and let's make this into a thicker sauce. So in my bowl here, I mixed together my one tablespoon of cornstarch and a couple tablespoons of water and made a slurry. And we are just, while this is still nice and hot, going to mix that in here with the liquid left in our crock pot until it thickens. And then we'll re-add in our chicken, get it shredded, and then we're ready to make rice because it was so easy and smells so good. My sauce is thickened up quite a lot. So I'm actually going to go ahead and add back in my pieces of chicken. And I'm going to use a fork here and shred those up and get them nice and mixed in with the sauce. Whatever extra sauce there is, is a good thing because we'll be able to pour that over our rice. But look at how tender this chicken is. It just falls apart. So I'm going to get this nice and shredded and I'll show you what it looks like once the chicken and the sauce is mixed together. And here is our shredded chicken. I just have to tell you, I tried this. Look at this. Oh, yum. You guys, this is so incredibly delicious. It has the sweetness from the hoisin sauce with that little bit of salt kick from the amino or the soy sauce. Oh, delicious. So I'm just going to go ahead and set this aside until I make some rice and I'll be back to show you exactly what I'm having for dinner. I'll give you the smart points for the hoisin chicken and then I'll give you the smart points for my whole dinner including the rice. All right, here is my completed dinner. I am so excited about this. Look at all of this. This is an absolutely huge dinner plate and it is full. So I have one serving of peas. I'm just going to add a little bit of spray butter, salt and pepper to that. Excuse me. I'm going to add a little bit of spray butter, salt, and pepper to that. And then look at this. I have half of a cup of my jasmine rice, and I have one-fourth. So that's a lot of the hoisin chicken, one-fourth of the chicken. It is three smart points for the rice, and you guys, the chicken is only two smart points. This entire serving is two smart points. So this is a five smart point dinner. Thank you for joining me on this very first video in my comfort food series, slow cooker style. I hope you enjoyed this hoisin chicken recipe. Again, you guys, it was so incredibly delicious and you get so much for the smart points, satisfying, filling, little Chinese fake out, so incredibly delicious. If you're new to my channel, make sure that you hit that little red subscribe button and that little notification bell. You guys don't wanna miss a single video. I have so many delicious recipes on this channel, over 100 videos, so check them out. Also, I'd love it if you thumbs up this video, it really does help out my channel and comment down below. Let me know what you think of this one, the new series, and two, this hoisin chicken recipe. Thank you guys again so much for coming along with me, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!